Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I will show you the construction of this electric motor that has a design similar to the first electric motors that didn't use permanent magnets. Instead, this motor uses an electromagnet. This video is sponsored by GLC PCB. GLC PCB is a company that makes excellent quality PCBs at an unbeatable price. You can order boards online in minutes. After registration, upload your Gerber files, select the PCB properties, select the payment method and place your order. Best price and quality for all your PCB needs. The rotor is composed of six nails that are inserted in the star. The nails are four inches nails, such as this one. And the central star is 3D printed. But of course, you can also make it with wood, for example. For better results, I will use these micro ball bearings of 5 mm external diameter and 2 mm internal diameter. The axis is from a bicycle spoke that fits perfectly in the ball bearings. I mounted the rotor on a base and this is the coil that I will use. It is made of magnet wire gauge 32 and has an iron core which is also a nail. When a current flows through the coil it becomes an electromagnet and attracts the nails of the rotor. But we need a way to turn on and off the coil so it will only attract the nail that is close to it. These two wires act as a switch and when a nail touches the wires the circuit of the coil is completed and it attracts the nail that is close to it, making the rotor move. At this position, the wires do not touch the nail, but the rotor continues to move because of its inertia, until the next nail touches the wires again and the coil is energized. In order to have a better conduction of electricity, I put copper tape around the nails. The circuit is very simple. Here we apply a voltage from a battery or power supply. It goes to the coil, from the coil to the two wires that are the switch, and then back to the power supply. Now let's see how it works. Of course, the motor will not self-start since one of the nails must be touching the two wires.
Okay, so there you have it. In case you want to build a motor, in the description of the video I give you the link to Thingiverse where I put the files of the 3D printed parts. Thanks for your visit. If you want to help me, please visit my Patreon page. Thanks and see you in the next video. Thank you.